G'day and welcome back to our Holy Roman Empire campaign in CK2. So it's nearly 1300 and we've taken pretty much everything. It's not looking too bad. And yeah, I went for free investiture in all the kingdoms that didn't have it. I think it was only probably just that one, Aquitaine. And the Jewel War over Amartya has ended. Damn it. The thing finished. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Alright, well. It was a chance, but uh, it didn't work out. It's fine. So they get out of there before suffering attrition. Okay, so next attempted war. Could do something down here. I think we want to uh, work on some of the other guys though. So I was having a look before and these guys are doing that bit for us. England's up here doing uh, Ermain for us, which he's started already. We can't do much else here. Where do we actually have claims? Strong claim to the King of Brittany, which is why we could usurp it before. Can't now. Can't usurp a title of someone who is at war. Cannot be the target or justification for any ongoing war. Fair enough. Um, Republic of Sardinia, we do want to do. Now, we tried to get them out, but apparently we couldn't get the um, non aggression pack. So I think we need to break this betrothal since it didn't work anyway. So do we want to risk just doing the all out war? I think we've got a few more options first before we fall back into that. Strong claim on Capua. Can we do anything down here? Duke Enzio. Can't offer him vassalization. Can we arrange a betrothal between him and Inga? Obviously not matrilineally. Alright, he accepts. Peasants have revolted in Burn. Alright, Kapwa is out. So let's go ahead and... Uh, now, he's not in any wars. So if we break this betrothal, we should immediately be allowed to do the thing, right? Claim on the county of Kapwa for us. We do have the domain limit. Alright. Let's do that. Um, Kapwa can raise quite a bit. Alright, we can raise stuff around here though. So it's coming down this way. They start with morale, so we need to look out. The peasant revolts. Arranged marriage from Lup Chemena. Hildegard Salian. We didn't organise that, but um, sure. Alright, Duke Lubert and Badahan both come in automatically, and we will destroy them in the hills. Badahan is okay at defence, he's got light foot troop, plus 38%. His martial influence just changed while that was uh, ticking over. Alright, double the men. He has nobody in his army. Propose that Khan of Kumania. Um, how much do Kumania have left? We've got quite a bit. So, we're going to decline that. And we're going to arrange a betrothal between him and Inga instead. Alright, and chase them to Napoli. Little bent arrow at the end. Alright, you've accepted. Thank you. And they're going back to Kapwa, which is where we're going to meet them. And we will split some of these off. Now, the army of Masud is going to do the chasing. Actually, if we can grab people with um, pursuit there. Sotan and... Masud is pursuit as well. Okay, but he was already in. Not a religious enemy. Alright, um, throw in the King of France. 
My co-conspirator. All right, has hired someone to sort through the supports. Good. Oh yeah, look at the difference that made. All right, 20 war score for it as well, which caps us out on the war score. Um, we'll let them be. Success! Hey, here we go. All right, so Hoogalan Kingly was married to this Christian with a strong claim on the Mongol Empire. And God damn it, we just sent her away to thing. Uh, Kimanya, we need our daughter back. So break this betrothal. And that's not the right one. This is. Alright, arrange a betrothal between Togtoga and her if he'll, he'll take it with her. Actually, we kind of need it to be matrilineal, don't we? He wouldn't accept that because he's too high in line in succession. Um, Alright, let's. I don't think we're going to be, no, we're going to be able to do this anyway. Wasn't going to work how I was hoping it would. So we can get them in there. Then he needs to have a son who we can call across. So six years, he'll be 67. All right, took too long to kill his wife, but we'll see how it goes. The Kagan is going to inherit his stuff. Okay, we've decided to accept. Fine. All right. But back to Italia. All right, chiefdom, Zeis, Kazimagalians, various things. Arranged marriage for Otto Salian. Acceptable. All right, like I was, might be corrupt. Hand wisely, this might be good. Uh, use it as you see fit. So, not just upset. Express the allegations of corruption. Take some time before his procedure recovered. And fifty, nice. And Genoa. He's having a go at the Count of Piombino. Rosello apparently hasn't fallen. Spilled in Genoese. To your one over from Lino. So, why didn't they win the other one? Oh, that sucks. King Luluk the Observer has created the Duchy of Albany. Alright. And hopefully that's worth enough. No, only up to 86. Who can we imprison? Duke Philip. Alright, rumor hearing around one of the local nobles might be corrupt. So, not to risk upsetting these battles. Vassals, excellent. Alright, the travels of Marco Polo and po Marco Polo. The Venetian merchant Marco Polo finally returned to Europe after many years of travel in the Far East, was it June of thirteen hundred? With his father and uncle, an account of their journey has been published as the Travels of Marco Polo, describing among other things the distant lands of Cathay and Manji. Readers are provided a rare glimpse of the world beyond Europe, but there are those who discount the entire chronicle as a fabrication. A stunning tale nonetheless. All right, Edward Lockhart is now known as the Careless. And out of interest, why are you showing us this? Um, sure, keep it as high priority. I don't know, it doesn't happen very often. And you know one's wandering past. All right, disease in Faro. This one hopefully will be worth 14%. And Duchy of Kirlin is being created. Okay. Victory there takes us up to 92. She can't enforce demands. Alright, let's need Kapwa. 12 days. Alright, they're done. So, enforce the demands. This was for ourselves, wasn't it? Holy Roman claim on Capua. It's just the county, unfortunately, not the duchy. Alright. 
So we steal that. We get out of there. Alright, they're gone. And kind of getting sick of these ones coming up. Let's um, show that in low priority. Okay, next. Yeah, there's guys down there. Otherwise, we need to break somebody free. Uh, that's what we were doing in Kamania. Won't be able to get another non-aggression pact because we don't have anybody else to do it with. Hmm. All right, let's wait for a bit. Let's actually have another quick look through... Not Volga Bulgaria. The... Actually, Volga Bulgaria might have other claimants... Altani and Hogolan. Nine years old. Weak claim on the Mongol Empire. Weak claim on the Khanate. Weak claim that can be inherited from the chieftains. Alright, if we arrange a betrothal with some random Manigold, that's acceptable. Who was the other one? Here. Yeah. Hogolan. Range Betrothal with uh, Jürgen. Kagan Munglig. I'm still considering. Alright, send that one. Take both his daughters. You have a new heir! King Meinhard died comatose in bed. Who was his heir? Krupold of Denmark. So, still inherit. That's okay then. He's got his regent. Um, yeah, that's fine. So we never get to play this generation. Alright, skips to him. Oh, there's two down there. Alright, we'll become our grandson. He will actually have time to have a son of his own. We can't marry him off anymore either. We would want somebody with stewardship and diplomacy who is young. He is five years old. Let's have a look by age. Yeah, we don't have anyone. We could invite somebody in. Women, any ruler in prison, uh, married, no. Right. Let's do this by age. Come down to... Yeah, none. Although it was adult selected. No, it's alright. Give it some time. And pick an ambition. Oh, we can do the thing to have a son now. Um, sure, we'll select that. Won't be with her. And you've accepted our suggestion. Alright, so this is directly to the Kagan Mungalig. Hoglung Chagatayad. Don't know how they come into this. Be through your father's father. Shukutai the Brute. Yep, okay. So, back in the Mongol Empire. Any more Christians? There's actually a few now. Um, let's quickly marry off... Ah, oh, it's Inga. Alright, well, we're not going to marry her off then. Alright, we were looking at claimants to the Mongols. There's actually some Catholics now. Two of them. Tord is already under us. We claim on the Mongol Empire. So, don't think there's any way we can get them out of the uh, massive mess that is this. We'd need it to be under 70, no, under 50%. All defensive packs of other religious groups stop banding together. Would take, what, 200 and something months. 10 years, I mean, we could wait, but we're not going to. And we can usurp Denmark, Wales and Ireland from him. No reason to do that. 
following week claims yet. Yeah. So the other thing is we couldn't actually push that unless the Mongols had a regency and he's never going to have a child heir. It's agnatic elective, so they wouldn't elect children. Which is why his own son isn't going to get in. Um, who is that? It's his brother. Alright, so he'd have to be captured in a war. So, yeah, there's no way to do that. Alright, Holy Roman Empire. Boris of Moscow has left. Can't offer vassalization, can't declare war because we have no CB against Moscow somehow. King of Navarra died. King Meinhard died. Yes, that's sad. Alright, we shall continue to be threatening. And actually, if we have a short period of peace, it wouldn't be the worst thing. I'm going to try and pass this. So, Count of Brabant. Uh, probably have to send a lot of gifts out. I know it doesn't necessarily get them to actually vote for it. Alright, so then is of legal age. To marry. Somebody with a claim on the Spoleto, it doesn't really matter. Um, Baroness. Go for it. Okay. Only 81 votes now. I actually dropped a bit. Two kings are voting. King Adelhard only has one, uh, two votes. And somebody else has dropped out. I don't think we're going to be able to get that up to 110. Uh, the Dukes. Apparently no more kings are actually voting for it. Because we have all the kingdom titles. Alright, peasants have revolted in Cornwall. So, if we do send gifts to the Dukes. That's expensive. Okay. Duke of Corinthia. Yeah, no. Let's just start awarding honorary titles. So, Cupbearer. Yeah, it'll do. Alright, if it happens, it happens. Don't really like our chances of forcing it. So, Mayor. Well, everyone's positive on us means we could change the inheritance if everybody stops fighting. Alright, Uto. Do this by rank. Queen of Lyon. Go for it. Try and get our dynasty everywhere we can. How old is the queen? She's four. It's okay, he was only 16. Iconoclast heresy has appeared in Shirtsk. Lots of orthodoxy about still. Need our people to uh, convert it. And free spymaster slot. Have to be Pagano, Mayor of Gator. Study technology. Can study it in various spots down here. Um, over there, I guess. And Albrecht Salian, uh, go for it. Alright, Novgorod. Smolensk and Zemigalia. The only three there really worth anything. Strong claim on the Republic. Yeah. We want to do Sardinia. How can we get Genoa to pull out? Hmm. Not sure exactly. Fatimid Revolt has been a long one. Didn't want to do that because it might have called in Egypt. Alright, Geoffrey Capet. You can have it. It might be time to just declare war on the Seljuks, although. Hang on. No, they are in it. Looking at the wrong guy. I have to look at his liege. Yeah, there it is. Alright, I think it's time to just start declaring. 
wars all over the place. Um, we would want to start in Ireland, although King of Denmark is the King of Ireland, so he has the um, de jure stuff over here anyway. Holds eight out of the 13. And he has a stutter. Okay, well, I'm going to take a short break here. So thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying it. And I hope to see you again soon where I think we're just going to start trying to do quick wars and do little blitzkriegs before everybody else can actually join in and just steal stuff that way. All right, see you soon.